cardio workout. A small group of people are doing it for a, a different reason, to slow the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. And as Erica Lunsford shows us, the mission is personal for the man who's holding the classes. Each punch uh -oh. and each step is helping this group living with Parkinson's fight back against the debilitating disease. Coming here and making yourself do the things that are kind of difficult makes you grow in your abilities. And so I like to come here with all these fellas. There's a few ladies. I'm not the only one. Ann Harrell is one of many who takes part in the weekly rock steady boxing classes. Let's go straight up. For Zach Guza, the owner of rock steady boxing, teaching these classes comes from a personal place. My dad had Parkinson's um, and when I got into fitness, I learned about rock steady boxing and then I realized that my dad never got this kind of exercise, never got this kind of chance. And he, unfortunately, his doctors didn't know anything about this, didn't know the benefits of exercise and just let, let Parkinson's take over. And he had a long, terrible, slow decline. Guza says after his father passed away in 2013, he was motivated to establish rock steady boxing Knoxville so that others would not have to go through that. A person with a condition gradually loses the ability to control body movements. The Parkinson's Foundation says physical exercises and physical activity can improve many symptoms. It's huge. I mean, it's it's huge. I, I see um, some of these boxers you know, say things like they've never been in better shape since since getting Parkinson's. You know, this is the, as good a shape they've ever been in their life. And it's it's great to hear that they are still able to keep up with their lives and and the, the hope. While packing a punch against Parkinson's with others in the same match. When I first started, the gloves were so heavy and I thought, man, I'll never be able to do this. But now we, we do lots of stretching and lots of exercising that's just good for us in general. But when we get to boxing, that's my favorite part now, is putting on the gloves and hitting the bag. Those with the disease hope others with it will join them in the ring. We would like people to become more engaged and knowledgeable about Parkinson's. Hearing the bell every round in the fight against Parkinson's. In Knoxville, Erica Lunsford, WVLT News. Well, the Parkinson's Outcomes Project shows that people with the disease who start exercising earlier for about two and a half hours a week are able to slow the decline in quality of life.